Hi everybody, this is Frank Cox, SmokerBuilder.com, Smoker Builder Manufacturing. Uh, sorry for the shaky video. I'm going to try to do this selfie sort of a way here. Uh, I'm going to do a video real quick on how to lay out our door on a beaded barrel for a UDS smoker. This is the same door we use on our WSM uh, mod, and you can also use this on a slick side barrel. There's a slick side barrel. I just installed it on there just a few minutes ago. Um, Anyway, uh, you'll see pictures of that. Um, this is one of my favorite drums I ever built because it's ugly. And uh, I've got it laid down here on its side just because it's easier for me to work with it like that. And if you look here, this is kind of difficult. I've got this door set on the, on the, on the drum sideways like it sits here. And uh, this is the top of the barrel. This is the bottom down here. If you notice, here's my thermometer. And I've got it dead center between these two, uh, between my two air inlets, my uprights. And what I'm going to do here is uh, I've got it set right below the top bead. So I've only got a notch for one bead here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker here, right at that bead. See if I can get it over there. And where this is flat, I'm going to make a mark there and a mark there like that. Bear with me just a minute. I'm going to pause this and do that. Okay, you can see there where I marked it. That's about where the flat spot starts on that rib. Now what you got to do, the more, the more difficult part about this kind of an installation, if you're unsure of your abilities to guess, uh, grab a piece of cardboard and just kind of lay it on, on the rib of the drum and uh, just take your marker, form it down really tight with your uh, fingers, push it against the rib, and then just follow the profile of that mark because that's what's going to be transferred over to the side of this door where the notch actually goes. Um, I've got pretty good 3D visioning capabilities here so I'm just going to mark it by hand. Um, bear with me, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to do that. Now I've kind of marked that there, you can see it. Um, that's about the profile of that bead. What I'm going to do is you can use a jigsaw or a metabo or whatever you've got it's helpful to have some kind of an angle grinder with a flap disc on it. Always cut on the inside of the line of what you think it's going to be. After you cut that out the best you can, jigsaw, whatever you're going to use, 10 snips. Uh, it's 16 gauge, so you can use 10 snips on it if you've got a pair of what's called bullnose. Uh, cut that thing out smaller than what you think it needs to be, and then use an angle grinder to kind of finish the profile. If you don't get it tight enough, use that lava lock gasket that you can get on barbecue smoker mods or barbecue smoker uh, I would prefer the one inch by eighth inch lava lock you can get it up to a quarter or three eighths of an inch thick I believe I would use the quarter inch on this one you're gonna take and drill holes where these bolts are where these bolt holes are anyway so that you can bolt it together to get a good sque tight squeeze after you cut this hole and mark out the inside hole of the door get this actually uh, I said that wrong. After you cut this mark and get the door fit tight up against the barrel, get it all bolted on, and then mark out your hole on the inside of the barrel what you're wanting it to be. You can mark it as tight to the edge as you want, and all you got to do is just open this door and just trace the profile of the door out as best you can, and uh, then basically you're going to have the, the seal on the door here and the seal on the door against the barrel. And then what you can't get with gasket, do with RTV sealant. It's included in the kit with the door. All right, folks, I'm back. Uh, I went ahead and took the time real quick just to go ahead and notch this door out and get it mounted to the drum. Um, another thing I said in a previous video was that it's okay to use like self-drilling uh, 5 16 head, uh, like number 12 screws. Uh, it installs a lot quicker. The door comes with quarter 20 nuts and bolts. Um, you know, so you can drill holes and bolt it down a lot tighter. If you're using gasket material, uh, the lava lock gaskets, I do recommend uh, using the nuts and bolts. Um, but, I mean, heck, you could even weld this on here if you're a welder. Um, but anyway, get up here and look real close at the seam. You can see there's a little bit of a gap in there. And that's that's totally okay. That's that's not a big deal. Just It comes with, uh, it comes with a certain amount of RTV sealant. And uh, like I said, you could order a roll of gasket material while you're at it if you're going to go ahead and put it on a rib drum. Um, it does fit a lot tighter on a slick side drum. So anyway, there you go. It will fit a 55-gallon rib barrel. Thanks a lot.